There's a movement of energy within you. There is something within you, a gift that needs to be shared, something that needs to express through you, and that negativity, that impossibility thinking comes up through your own awareness or moves through someone else saying, you know, you can't do that, it's impossible, it's never been done before, you're too old, you're too fat, you're too this, you don't have enough education, you have too much education, and you begin to just allow that to weigh you down, and you end up doing nothing, creating the condition for apathy, lethargy, creating condition for you to be in the box of individuals who are not sharing their gifts, not living who and what they are to be on this planet at this time in human history. The first thing you want to do in creating the condition for the growth, development, and unfoldment of your soul is stop listening to the opinions of others. Stop listening to negativity. Stop listening. To what might go wrong. Stop listening to what you might have to lose if you go for your dream. Stop listening to what you have to give up in order to be who and what you really are. When that's something bigger than circumstance wants to express itself, you do your best to not listen to negativity. And then along the way, as you begin to take your step, as you begin to move in the direction of your vision, you begin to move in the direction of your high-minded goals, you begin to move in the direction of that evolutionary impulse that governs the entire universe that by means of you wants to express itself, you may encounter delays along the way. And every delay is not a denial. It simply means that you're getting something that you're going to need to go forward. This is what the delays mean. Why is that? The universe is friendly and is for you. Life is for you. Life is progressive. It wants to express through you. Everything is working for your good. So when there is a delay, you perhaps have to ask yourself, what is it that's trying to emerge right now in my life? You may have to ask yourself, what is it that I need to become in order to move forward? What gift do I need to activate? You might need to ask, what potential is within me that is seeking to express itself and it will begin to talk to you? So your delay is not a denial. It means that you're getting something along the way that you're going to need in the course of the unfoldment of your soul and the delivery of your gifts. The bane of the human experience is that we complain and bemoan about what we do not have when we're sitting on so much uh, beauty, we're sitting on so much capacity to share and give, and we want to wake up every single day in gratitude for everything that we already have. And we want to begin to use what we have. Oftentimes, people are running around trying to get something more in their life, and they're not utilizing what they have. They're not praising what they have. They're not in gratitude for what they have. They're constantly complaining about what they don't have. And so this universal law matches that vibration and says, you don't have it, you'll never have it, because that is what's coming out of your mouth on a regular basis. Says, you want to use what you have. Begin to take an inventory in your life of every good and perfect thing that you already have. Every gift, uh, every capacity within you. Begin to look and see what you have and begin to develop an awareness of what you have. And then you walk in this world, in this conscious state of being about what you have. And then the universe matches that awareness of what you have and more is given to you. This is the law. This is the law. These are the conditions. How often does complaining, which Bob Marley called prayers to the devil, how often uh, does complaining and bemoaning your fate uh, come out of your mouth? A lot of you, you may have placeholders in negativity. What do I mean by that? You have something you're concerned about, something you're worried about, and, and, and it has you tied up in knots. And then you come to an event like this, or you watch a program like this, or something inspires you. And for a moment, you're out of time and space. You're available to insight and revelation. You're available to wisdom and guidance. And then your mind starts to say, what, what, what was I worried about now? And you go on a hunt for it. You have like a placeholder in negativity. And you just, well, what was I, what was I worried about? Oh, there it is. That's what I'm worried about. Oh, yeah. I feel good now because I can worry again. You see? And so many of you have developed the practice 
of having a placeholder in negativity. I'm inviting you to have a placeholder in affirmation, a placeholder with your aha moments, a placeholder with your expanded awareness so that when things start to get you down, you come back and you remember, oh, that insight, that revelation, that guidance. I remember what that feels like. And you begin to walk in that awareness, talk from that awareness, having that having a consciousness, that having awareness, so that there is a vibrational match from the universal flow that corresponds to the nature of your song that is now affirmative, life-giving, life-enhancing, in vibrational match with all of the power and presence and love that there is.